This is the van that we use to um, take all our dogs to train in the forest or to races, the Huskies. Um, we bought the van new, believe it or not, 12 years ago. And it's only really used, well, it is only used to take dogs back and forth to the forest. So it hasn't done many miles in, its, in 12 years and it's in very good condition. But uh, this is what we do. So the inside of the van here is all caged out for dogs. Uh, there's an inner compartment here so we can take dogs out of the cages and obviously they won't escape. Uh, water containers we keep there. These are lines um, that hook to the, uh, the sleds or whatever and all the dogs are attached to, the, to this line. And these are additional snub lines that we have and this is where we uh, connect the, um, the, the sled or the vehicle that the dogs are pulling that gets hooked to the van or something like that. And we, when training, we, we, we hook it to the van. And on a quick release, we, let, we can let, the, uh, let them go. These are bags here for um, picking up. So inside here, we've got um, lots of leads, harnesses, dog harnesses. Um, we keep extra coats and bad weather clothes up there. Um, up the top we keep various things, water bowls and various other bits and pieces for the dogs. And the cages were, they're made out of um, stainless steel and uh, we've had dogs in here. Uh, sometimes when we're at races um, in Scotland, the dogs will stay in here for um, up to three days at a time. Obviously, they're, they're going out walking and everything, but they live in here. So the van and the cages are kept in very good condition. So we travel mainly four, sometimes five dogs in each cage, so we can get uh, 20 dogs in here. The ones down the bottom are actually bigger and we've got tiles on the wall there to stop them scratching that there was a wood division there um, the the floors are very hard wearing they've caused no problem there is a little cage here on its own which we tend to use only for the odd dog whether it's old or maybe for whatever reason wants to be traveling separate so that's that then in the back in the back of the van we've got more leads for um, uh, putting dogs, attaching dogs to when we're pulling. Uh, obviously, we run different teams of dogs. Some have got four, uh, four dog teams, two dog teams, six dog teams, and bigger. So th the lines are already made up for whether we're carrying, uh, whether we're pulling four dogs or two dogs or whatever. Uh, this is a, a rig which um, uh, is made of stainless steel. The handlebars are pushed down so they can get in the van. It's quite light. These are these are uh, stakes to stick in the ground that we can then uh, tie dogs to, or teams to, so they don't move away. There, there are doors on the back of all of these cages so we can get dogs out from the back as well. Um, and certainly from a safety point of view, you know, we can get dogs out from the front of the front of the van, front of the cages, or the back. Um, also, there's more storage bins up the top. Uh, we've got hooks on the top there where we can carry one of those racing rigs on the back of the van. 
and obviously there's a tow hook because we take a trailer as well. So all in all, um, it's been a it's been a good way of tr transporting the dogs, and the van. Um, after 12 years, uh, has stayed in good condition.